WeWeb is the fastest way to build production-ready web apps. Let's say we're AngelList and we want to work with an Airtable base as our backend. First, we'll need to add Airtable as a data source and bind our base of job offers to a collection list in our front-end editor. As you can see in our plugins, we could just as well work with REST APIs or any SQL database. We'll add a data source and choose the static mode to optimize for SEO. Then, we select our Airtable base and select the tab with the job listings. And for now, we'll leave it with a default pagination and no filters. We will fetch the collection data in a few seconds and we can push it to the page. On the page, we'll drag and drop a collection list element from our design library. As you can see, this collection list element is made of one flexbox that holds another flexbox with text and image elements. We'll bind our collection to that first parent flexbox. Look at that. One flexbox in Navigator turns into six items on the page, just as we have six items in our Airtable base of job listings. Once that's done, we can bind data. Let's start with a company logo. Boom, we now see the logos of the six companies that are hiring. We'll do one more with a job title. Okay, you get the picture. In a few clicks, we can even add a function to show the number of job openings in our collection. We now have six job listings in Airtable, a total count of six results, and six items on the page. Of course, now that we have a list of job offers, we'd like to see each job offer. In order to do that, we'll need to create a collection page. We'll name job offer, bind it to our collection, and create the page. And now we bind data like we did before. Notice how when we bind the data from the collection to one page, each URL is updated in one go. That's great, but we still need to let users apply. In order to do that, we'll drag and drop a button element from our design library onto the collection list and link it to our collection page. When the user clicks on the apply button, they'll now be directed to the job offer page and they'll be able to submit a form to apply. That's where we want to set up a workflow. We'll call it application. And it'll send the information provided by the candidate to our Airtable candidate space. We want to create a record and send it to the candidates tab in our Airtable base. We'll need to map the form input fields to the columns in our database first. Cool, now that is our app is complete, let's test it in user mode and see what the experience will be like for our end users. You can obviously do a lot more with WeWeb, but hopefully this little demo will have piqued your curiosity and you'll want to sign up to give it a try. If you're ready to publish, we'll also have a 30% discount on any paid plan for product hunters only.